Hi everybody, this is Mike White with ISU Extension. I'm the viticulture specialist for the state of Iowa. And uh, what we're going to be doing here today is Dave Quad is running the camera. And uh, Dave and his wife Heidi have this vineyard called Annalise Vineyard. It's just southwest of Indianola, Iowa. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about shoot thinning. Now, number one thing you do to get your vines ready for the coming season is you're pruning and that's where you prune it down to a set number of buds typically five to six buds to put a row on the, the wire after that is done then you can come back and you usually come out when the shoots are somewhere between six and twelve inches long you want to do that six to twelve inches long when you do your shoot thinning because after anything more than that because very labor intensive they start getting tendrils on them and they tie together it's hard to do and the whole idea is here, we know that clusters per, the, per foot a row, and number of clusters times their weight times number of plants per acre gives you your yield. But the shoot thinning is what we're doing here, is really looking for quality. What we want to do is we want to thin the shoots on this lacrosse vine, this is lacrosse, we want to thin the shoots down to about five or six shoots per foot a row. And what that allows then is that allows the sunlight to get in here, it allows air to pass through so that the early morning dews and rainfall quickly dries up. And it also what it does for us, it helps our uh, spray program and we come through here with fungicides to penetrate the canopy and get in on that fruit. So I'm, this is a lacrosse vine. I'm, I'm just looking at it here and the first thing I'm going to look is look at it and I notice that we had a, we've got a lot of water sprouts on the trunk. And I'm wearing gloves here. Uh, it's a good idea to use gloves when you're shoot thinning because you're going to be doing a lot of this. So I'm going to take these water sprouts off. This trunk right there. Get the water sprouts off. I am going to leave this one sucker down here. Okay. And that one sucker coming out of the base will be my insurance in case something happens to this trunk this season or through the winter. I will have something down there that can replace it. That's just called insurance down there. So I've removed the suckers, or most of the suckers except for one, and I've removed the water sprouts off the trunk. Now what I want to do is, when we prune, we tried to prune the five to six buds per foot of row on the, on the wire here. Each one of those buds produces a cane, or a shoot coming up. The, sometimes, especially with the cross, you'll get advantageous buds popping along the cordon, and you'll also get basal buds popping at the base of your spurs and you'll get more uh, shoots than you want. So what I'm going to do is quickly go through and try to thin this out to where we, ha we have five to six shoots per foot a row. So here I go through here. I'm going to start thinning these out. Okay, I always like to look at the smallest shoots first. Uh, if, if, there, if it's a basal shoot or if it's a, a advantageous shoot, that's what I like to take out. But I'm going to go through here and thin these things out. Again, five to six shoots per foot of row. It's a good idea to always have pruners, even though most of your work is going to be by removing shoots with your hands. Pruners is kind of help you out with the, the tougher stuff to clean out. So that looks good. Now I, I've got a lot of uh, basal shoots advantageous shoots coming out here. I've got quite a few uh, shoots per foot of row. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to knock off these down here. I'm going to go with this spur. I'm going to knock that off. So we got one, two. I'm going to go in here, clean, clean out that head area.
Okay, um, it's not perfect, but what I've done right now is I've tried to get it down to five to six shoots per foot of row. Again, that allows for sunshine to enter the plant canopy, get sunshine to the fruit, it allows air to pass through the canopy so that it dries off early in the morning with dews or rainfall, and it also helps with spray penetration on your fungicide, fungicide spray program. So there's a lacrosse plant that's been thinned and down to uh, five to six shoots per foot of row. Um, thank you very much. This has been Mike White with Iowa State University Extension, uh, and have a good day.